Balt Ops is an international exercise staged annually in the Baltic Sea involving NATO and its partner forces. Polish Navy Lieutenant Commander Peter Wotas from the Maritime Operations Center talks about the goals of this exercise. I believe that Balt Ops 2015 is a great opportunity to prove that NATO is able uh, to send 50 ships at one time to Baltic. That sends a strong signal to the countries that are within NATO, the 28 uh, membering states. They, they know, seeing this, they know that NATO will be uh, there if needed. And at the same time, we're practicing the scenarios that are artificial, of course, but they may become true in the future. So we need to make sure that we're training something that is actually useful. Let's hope that it will not be uh, necessary to use them, but still, we need to be ready. We cannot be uh, all, only relying on those exercises and operations we've already done. Training together in a controlled scenario can help ease the difficulties of working with foreign forces, like differing equipment, regulations, and language barriers. German Navy Lieutenant Junior Grade Martin Paul Rose, Executive Officer of the FGS Donau, explains the benefits of interoperability. You have your national regulations, you have your national procedures, and uh, then you meet a French uh, ship, a Belgian ship, or a US Navy ship, and you have to work together, and it works. From the USS San Antonio, I'm Seaman Luke Askew.